I get so mad, there's no control in me. My thoughts get so bad, I'm like, I might grab a bat, I don't know. My wrath, my blood boils over like. Oh God, here goes. I lost all feeling from my head to my toes. You said some shit that I can't let go. So just stay tuned for the rest of the show. So have you ever felt betrayed? Switch is how you see things. Realize something needs change. Cause I know you got me f***ed up. Let me show you what's up. Cause enough is enough. I'll take a face full of pavement. Just to make a statement. I know there's no turning back. Oh God, adrenaline wasted. So mad I can taste. Right. Shock, horror, what a decision, what a mistake to make her. Definitely a goal, not, should not have been a goal. A uh, lot of Luton fans are saying that the Trafford jumped into their attacker, but we all know what happened. He saw the goalkeeper coming out and he actually just ran in to embarge him out of the way. Right. Um, I've been watching other YouTube channels and one of them, he actually couldn't speak. It was on just shortly after the match had finished. He just sat there looking, shaking his head at the camera. Couldn't believe it. Events and Company couldn't believe it. The crowd at Turf Moor thought that when he went to VAR, it would have been ruled out. But for some unknown reason, they said it was going to be a goal. Match of the day were up and down. One said yes, one said no. They read the rules on match of the day that said confrontation between two players in the penalty area is looked upon as acceptable contact, even with the goalkeeper, who is normally protected against fouls in the penalty area. But after all said and done, you know what happened. Luton got the goal in the 92nd minute and the goal was given. They got a point and we got a point. But Vincent Company really wanted three and so did lots of other Burnley supporters. I put a little clip, a little photograph on there of the incident and I've also put a photograph of the uh, of the uh, the goal, not the actual goal, but the celebrations from Andumi, Andumi, and the new signing, uh, the loan signing from Chelsea. Um, what his name is? I've got to find it. David Datro Fofana, or Fofana. He's here to the end of the season. Um, he hasn't got a lot of time to prove himself. Next game up is Manchester City. Hard. Very hard. But anyway, let's start from the very beginning. A very good place to start. 12th of January 2024. This was on Friday instead of being tomorrow Monday because of Luton's match replay FA Cup third round against Bolton. This is Let's Talk Burnley Football Club number 121. Burnley went with a 4-4-2 and Luton went with a 3-4-2-1. 9.45 kickoff. Referee was Tony Harrington. So the previous game uh, on the 3rd of October 2023, Luton won, Burnley 2. Foster and Larson scored for Burnley. Today's team news, Trafford. Bintinio, O'Shea, Akdal, Ekdal, uh, Goodmanson, Brownhill, Cullen, Audibert, Foster and Amdouni. And your substitutes was Murick, Cork, Riley, Rodriguez, Benson, um, Zayori, uh, Tresso and Larson. Um, Started pretty well. Godmanson was put through and he had a chance in the seventh minute, but he couldn't convert. And the 24th minute, Burnley a free kick. Godmanson put it over the bar. And then came the goal from Zayori, uh, assisted by Odebert. A very good goal. 
should have had, should have had more than one goal in the first half. But anyway, half time came, Burnley won, Luton nil, and everybody was very happy with the performance, even though Luton had the majority of the play. Uh, the stats for Burnley were 40% possession, six shots, two on target, no corners, four fouls, and Luton's stats were 60%, seven shots, two on target, five corners, six fouls. In the 53rd minute, Vendinho um, shook shots over the bar. Um, he, 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 I think the blood ran to his head and he just wanted to have a crack and it, it sailed over the, the, the bar. Right, um, then we come into the substitutes. 74th minute, Robert replaces Goodmanson. Uh, 82nd minute, Audibert forces a save. 84th minute Burnley substitute Larson replaces Audibert and Dooney replaced by Tressor. And then we all know what happened in 90 plus second minute. Luton scored. Um, Carl, Carlton Morris, uh, controversial goal, has Burnley appeal for a foul on Trafford. No joy. Um, game ended 1 1. For the, for the stats for Burnley, uh, full-time stats, 39%. We know it's low. We know it's low, but we could have scored more than one goal, and I think we should have scored more than one goal, because that goal in the 90-plus two minutes would not have counted, you know, as anything, because the game would have been over by then, and we would have got another goal, or, or probably two more goals. But it never happened. But Burnley need to do that. They need to kill the game off. Um, where was I? Yes. <laughs> so Burnley's stats, 39%. 13 shots, 7 on target, 2 corners and 7 fouls. While Luton had 62% of the possession, 14 shots, 5 on target, 8 corners and 8 fouls. Now we have the international break and we also have the FA Cup third round replays coming up. Uh, this week um, but the next game for Burnley after the international break is Manchester City away on 31st of January and uh, then we've got on the 3rd of February we are at home to Fulham um, and then um, on Saturday 10th of February we're away at Liverpool and again on the 17th of February, we're home to Arsenal. Get different, get difficult games, but hopefully uh, the new striker for Fana could be involved and hopefully he will show some difference up front. Right, positions for the league. Uh, Burnley haven't gone any, any further other than one more point, and neither has Luton. But 18th position, Luton. Played 20, won 4, drawn 4, lost 12, 16 points. Burnley, 19th, played 21, won 3, drawn 3, lost 15, 12 points. And Sheffield United, who are playing, I think today, Sunday, um, played 20, won 2, drawn 3, lost 15, 9 points. Uh, we've also got transfer news, possible um, midfielder, Papa Gaib, midfielder from Marseille. We also, we also confirmed the uh, signing of the, of the loan for Fana, uh, the um, striker from Chelsea. So hopefully after the international break, Burnley can start to gather points. Um, they need every single point they can get. I mean, I don't know whether you f feel out there, the Burnley fans, whether this is going to be um, an exercise that's not going to work, and Fafana will not do the job, or will he do the job and get us out some way out of this bottom three, even if we get into 17th position. There's no shame in that. And start afresh next year or this year in August 
Well, that's it for now. Um, I always say keep the faith. I'm still confident that Burnley have not um, conceded the, uh, this league. I think they'll be trying with every breath. I mean, Vincent Company said that now he he's now going to tell his players that now every game has got to be fight. You have to fight now for your place in the Premier League. Well, that's it for now. I'm going to say up the Clarets because I'm a I'm a Clariot and a believer. All the best, Dan. Up the Clarets. Come on, lads. We can do this. Yeah. Sometimes I get so mad, there's no control in me. My thoughts get so bad, I'm like, I might grab a bat. I don't know my wrath, my blood boils over like, oh God, here goes. I lost all feeling from my head.